What's going on? Welcome back to another episode of the Nostalgic 90s. I'm your host, Big Mike, and today, I think you might have guessed it, but in case you didn't, we are going to be watching some Ed, Ed, and Eddie today. Check out the merch. Uh, look at that. That's fire, right? Matches the uh, the uh, picture behind me. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to get into it. We're going to get into a little bit of the history of Ed, Ed, and Eddie, which is by far one of my all-time favorite shows from the late 90s, early 2000s on Cartoon Network. So let's go ahead and get into it. Look at that. Uh, trying to get the camera to focus. Sorry, it just looks like the sun is in my hand. But yeah, this is all an authentic. I'm trying not to drop it on my laptop, but this is an authentic jawbreaker. This thing is massive. This thing is so huge. So that's just to show how big this thing is. So I guess there's a place in the mall down in Maryland called Candy World. At least that's what it says on the bag. That's where I got that jawbreaker from. It was like a like a little like a little stand. And uh, as soon as I saw that, I don't remember how much I paid for it. But when I was a kid, I think those would easily go for like fifty cents to a dollar when I was a kid. So Lord knows how much they cost now. So in the show, they always go on some type of crazy money making scheme to try to earn money to buy jawbreakers for their pure enjoyment. So, and if memory serves me correctly, they live on a cul-de-sac and um, Eddie, which is the money scheming kid, always has some crazy idea for Double D, which is the smart one, uh, to try to strum up a plan to make this money for their candy. So everything as far as like, I remember an episode with like them trying to sell lemonade to, uh, there's a character in the show. Let me see if I can find him on the shirt. Uh, his name, this guy, his name is Ralph. And Ralph is like, almost like a, uh, how would I say it? He's almost like really old fashioned and he, he enjoys manual labor. And uh, one episode I remember they were actually, um, Ralph needed help peeling potatoes for something. And then Double D came up with this whole assembly line that could get the potatoes to get peeled. And then also um, the potatoes to get peeled, washed, and then like tossed and then go through a um, like a tennis racket, like go around this big like truck tire, get slung shot out the other side through a tennis racket to cut them up into French fries. Hey guys, come. Hey, come. Oh. Just four more of us. So now I don't know why he needed to make him into French fries, but that's how the episode went. And I guess apparently Ralph was going to pay them a certain amount of money or something. Okay, so coming right off of Wikipedia, uh, it says that the three, they devise plans to obtain money from the other kids in their cul-de-sac, which they want to use to buy jawbreakers. Look at that. Ah. However, the problems always ensue, and problems always ensue in the Ed schemes usually end in failure and humiliation. So that's basically what I said. Um... And then, you know, you had the other kids um, in the cul-de-sac, such as 
um, the Trailer Park Sisters. You had Sarah. Uh, or wait. No. Is that Sarah? Yeah, that's Sarah. That's Naz. Uh, Johnny is... Johnny is uh, here. And this character here actually stopped by today to enjoy this episode with us. Let me grab him. This here is my friend and yours, Plank. Say hi to the people, Plank. <laughs> Plank says he's really happy and excited to be here, and he can't wait to start the show. So without further ado, I think we're going to go ahead and get into it, but there's more there's more characters in the whole plot of the story. Uh, what's that, Plank? Plank says, we forgot Ralph. Plank, I already, I, we already talked about Ralph. All right, well, obviously, Plank didn't bring his listening ears. But, uh, so, what I also wanted to do today is, I'm going to put Plank right here. Because, I actually went out and bought a box of Dunkaroos. For me and my friend Plank to enjoy. So, uh, Plank looks a little under the weather because he's been in the weather. But that's okay. Because Plank made it today. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to watch a couple episodes of Plank and the stupid Ed boys doing their thing. And as a matter of fact. We're going to pour ourselves a bowl of Dunkaroos. So if you guys want to take a second, go grab you a bowl of your favorite cereal or snack. We'll meet you back here in about five. Not five your time, but five my time. So pause the video. Go grab yourself some cereal, some of your favorite cereals, some of your favorite snacks. Come back. Sit down. We're going to enjoy some episodes. All right. So I was able to pull up. Uh, Ed, Ed, and Eddie actually here on YouTube, and we're going to subscribe, hit the notification bell, because why not, right? Ah, Alright, so it looks like if you type in Ed, Ed, and Eddie, all of this stuff will come up, and uh, for some reason, they're only like five minute episodes, so that's probably what it looks like when there's no, uh, when there's no commercials. And for those of you who are wondering, the Dunkaroo cereal looks like this. Kind of hard to see with the light so bright, but it's basically cookies with like little sprinkles on them. Mm. I don't know what to make of it, but this episode right here kind of looks funny. So we're going to click on it. Oh, if you had your own place, you wouldn't have to take orders from anyone. You'd be your own boss. Ed, what do you think? I like it, Eddie. I have one eyebrow and the brain of a bug. Yes, well, let's be sure to pack hand soap. Hand soap. Look, Plank, we get to go to a tea party. Think big, Ed. Where have you all... Oh. That's wrong. The soil has been leached. Papa's fermented spoils will cure this plague. is the cat's tuxedo, guys. Right, Poochie? <laughs> <laughs> Wilfred! Me 
Yeah, Need I remind you, you are forbidden to eat in Rolls' vegetable patch. Hi, neighbor! <laughs> Why are you in the trough of food spoils? I'm hot, Tobin. Do not frazzle, Rolf! Please do not contaminate the food as pigs eat from it. I'm a cowboy. Bang, bang. A burden <laughs> has been placed on Rolf. He said, I'm a cowboy. Bang, bang. Yeah. Hey, exceptional. <laughs> Eggshells can hold many times its own weight without... Double D! Sorry, Rolf. I was just running a... <laughs> Hi, Rolf! A hypothesis! You have the use of Rolf's shed and nothing more! Time to wash and fill Rolf's empty belly. some big word smart guy way for us to get out of these stupid situations. Go for it. I'll call you back. Animals here, I'll 
cramp in my rump, sister of mine. Now, stupid head! They are so cute and cuddly. My favorite shirt, shot! Throw them out, Ed. Who needs them? Dinky, dinky, stinky you. <laughs> Ed, hush! For goodness sake, Sarah's going to hear you. It's a four sausage fire, Double B! <laughs> Everybody hop aboard the air train! Watching TV, Sarah. Nothing's going on here. Yes, Mark. Are you ready, Mulder? What the heck's he doing? Uh, it's a bartering pole, Eddie. The barterers shall balance themselves on the pole, using only their abdominal area. Riveting. In order to conduct any market negotiations. That's stupid. Make haste, Mulder. Pleasure is mine. <laughs> Enough formalities! What is the worth of these two eels? I will give you two chickens. Chickens? Take the chickens! Sounds fair. I love Thank chickens, you. Eddie. What? Do you not want two chickens then? Hang on there, villager! This monger only takes cash! I'll take those. <laughs> chickens! Thank you, fishmonger and wife! Rolf is home again! Hush, hush, hush. Mush, 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 mush. Out! Your village idiot has fallen in Rose Hole. A celebration, I say! You there, eel woman, raise the jug! Play me the song of Rose Billy! Folk songs, folk songs. That's my horse? That's my horse! <laughs> I can't dance, Ralph. That's my horse! <laughs> So 
that was one of my favorite cartoons growing up, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. But I'm, I don't know why it doesn't show the full episodes. Um, I have no idea why. Uh, let me see what my buddy Plank here, my friend and yours, has to say. What do you say? So Plank says it's one of the greatest shows he's ever had to partake in and he's ever been watching. So, uh, is that all? Plank says he wants to watch another episode. Sorry, Plank, we don't have time for another episode. Maybe they do, but we don't. We got to get going. But we, Plank and I, we appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Stay good, stay safe, stay safe, stay safe, and stay nostalgic, all right? We'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. Later.